I'd be lying if I told you I didn't cringe every time I fumbled a shell casing when trying to reload it directly in the chamber, and then walk it off casually like I just aced a hole in one. I mean, it's not like it's the biggest moment in my career, and I'm most definitely not Tiger Woods. But I'm shooting under an imaginary duress here, and I had these big bad 2x4 foot targets mugging me like they were going to take my custom made Chris Redfield Funko pop and, well, if you ask me, that's a potential life threatening situation. But just in case situations like this ever become a reality, you most likely have a higher chance of operating sweet science, street sweeping 5 inch cavity chest wounds working with the Benelli Supernova Tactical LE. And with the way things have been shaking up throughout the rest of the world, it wouldn't be a horrible idea to talk about the best pump action battle shotgun that can start the building block to your warfare setup in a potential apocalypse. Now, before you get your panties in a wad and start pointing fingers at me like as if I'm asking for conflict, this is purely out of speculation. And besides, I can't be the only one who gets their gears turned when ideas like this come to mind. So I'm giving you what you want. A 5 minute rush of euphoria and some downtime you can use as an excuse to tell your boss whenever you need to use the crapper. The Benelli Supernova Tactical LE is the Italian gatekeeper to get the job done just in case the elites get bold and somehow declare martial law. How you say? Well, if you're needing something durable enough to at least buy you enough time to get the kiddos in a bunker and grab the rest of the loadout kit, the Tactical LE's internal system is constructed of steel, wrapped in polymer, transforming the frame into Vladimir Kalichko's right hand. To summarize a bit, you're technically dealing with a firearm that at any moment's notice can turn into a 7.5 pound baseball bat if you need to fend off intruders within striking distance. But just imagine trying to swing at an intruder with the size of a 12 foot tyrant like the one in Damnation. Well, let's hope you don't have to get there in the first place because the Tactical LE's biggest advantage is its 7 plus 1 magazine capacity. If you weren't more than capable of running the build drill at 7 yards due to insufficient ammo, guess who now has the extra 2 shells to top off the central nervous system? I guess this would be a good time to call out the 1911 guys who swear up and down that their Kimber Tactical Pro would get the job done in 4 shots because, you know, stopping power. But I get it. Everyone makes aftermarket choke tubes nowadays and 45 ACPs are like the old hedge funds who still invest in insurance companies. But there's nothing more satisfying than being able to interchange shells in the middle of a gun battle like your Levi Ackerman switching out swords in a titan fight. Let me rephrase that for you. The shell stop button located on the fore end gives you the godly capability to switch from double lock buck loads to slugs if you need to reach out and touch someone at 45 yards. It's the ultimate transition when the chips are down or if you need to adapt to one's environment. Top that off with the upgraded ghost ring sights and you might make a case for a 50 yard headshot. Then there's your typical survival scenario where you've ran through every single neighborhood on your block and all you can find laying around is a box of 3.5 inch nitro slugs in an old abandoned house. Things aren't gloomy and gray anymore until you realize the LE's rated to not only shoot 2 and 3 quarter and 3 inch shells, but also grizzly bear loads and 3.5 shells as well. If you ask me, I'm giving the advantage to the guy capable of employing all 3 common rounds while blasting 50 BMG link cartridges out the end of an 18 and a half inch barrel. But internal ballistics from a 200 feet per second difference would depend on the circumstances, but more importantly, the deciding factor will lean towards the operator's preference. The conclusion will determine how you dress your supernova tactical LE rather than how big the load will be. The Weaver Picatinny Rail adds the tactical approach while forming the strategic blueprint to your overall weapon system. A simple red dot design like the Holliston 507C, equipped with a reliable light source like the Surefire M300C, can change the way looters see things. Literally. I've done a separate breakdown on the 507C X2 in a previous video, and I'll have a link in the description below. If you're wanting to refine a shotgun's overall weapon system, utilizing a tactical LE's collapsible buttstock makes room clearing more convenient when maneuvering in and out of confined spaces. No seriously, tactical poetry doesn't work until after you've learned to appreciate a telescopic buttstock when you see one. You can thank the mass amounts of short stroking behind the scenes in my Mossberg Maverick 88 video. The Benelli Supernova Tactical's layout was created with the intentions of adding the right pieces to make a stand in a global revolution. I'm kidding, but demanding that if there were ever an apocalypse, kidding out the law enforcement edition would give you the tools on top of what the Supernova Tactical already brings to the table. An indestructible frame, a reliable rotating bolt locking mechanism, a nitrous button located on the bottom of your forehand, 7 plus 1 in a choke tube, and 5 on standby from an STAC placard if you dress it right. Oh, and did I mention that the Ghost Ring starts are built better than the OEM Glocks you'd find at retail stores? You can find some interesting facts about the Benelli Supernova Tactical as well as its origins linked down in the description below. As for now, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. To watch more content like this in the future, click the subscribe button. To get instant updates for the latest PPU content, click the bell notification icon as well, and I'll see you guys in the next video.